Well, moments after Iran carried out an airstrike on Israeli soil, commoners on both sides reacted to the attack. On one side, there was jubilation. On the other, a sense of worry of what might escalate into a larger war in the region. Now, thousands of Iranians took to the streets across the country early in the day to show their support for the country's attack on Israel. And to remind our viewers, the strike follows Israel's attack on a on an Iranian embassy that killed seven people, including several top generals of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Iran is a powerful and independent country. We will never allow anyone to violate Iranian territory. Any enemy contemplating aggression against Iran will meet the same fate as Israel. Members of Iran's parliament were also seen celebrating the attack as lawmakers were seen chanting slogans in unison. <laughs> Meanwhile, mixed reactions poured in from Israeli citizens hours after the night sky was lit up with drones and missiles. While some are apprehensive and do not want a bigger war in the region, others say that Iran's attack now gives their country a, quote, license to respond. I think it was quite scary when in the middle of the night we started hearing booming and we didn't know what it was. I and mean, we knew what it was. We don't, extend it. we don't know what extent it would be. But thank God the Israeli army came through and so far it's quiet and we hope it will continue like this. I think we've been given license to respond now. I mean, it was a major attack from Iran with I don't know how many hundred uh, drones and missiles and major missiles. So they really, they've given us license to respond. And I, I, I imagine Israel will respond and may it be over quickly and we can get back to normal life. Our correspondent Jody Cohen is now joining us with the latest from Ranana. Jody, what can you tell us about the latest in Israel and what are Israelis saying on ground? And also in terms of what is being said by Israel's leaders. So there'll be a lot of tired people across Israel today and relieved people as well. That's after 99% of more than 300 projectiles were fired by Iran towards Israel and were intercepted. Now, the IDF said that 100% of drones and missiles fired by Iranian proxies in Iraq and Yemen were also intercepted. The IDF spokesperson Daniel Hagari has praised the strong fighting coalition that intercepted those projectiles. That was a combination of Israeli, American, British, French and Jordanian forces. And Prime Minister Netanyahu had a call with President Biden and thanked him for the US support and no doubt he'll be doing that with the others as well. Now Defence Minister Galanta suggested that Iran's campaign hasn't ended and we have heard just recently of rockets, sirens going off on the Israel-Lebanese border warning of rockets, presumably from Hezbollah. Now, he said, Hagari said that people should be vigilant. Schools are remaining shut. Gatherings are limited to 1,000 people and less in the border communities. Israel has reopened its airspace and people have been told that they can leave the shelters. The Israeli people are known for resilience. You can see that there are cars out. Some people are out. It is a bit quiet and normal, but no doubt once people have got some sleep, the streets will be as busy as usual later. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.